Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Well, actually, welcome to another reaction because today we're about to have a legacy for the former mayor, the 60th mayor of Atlanta. As you know, if you don't know who is Keisha Lance Bottom, she's she was the 60th mayor at Atlanta and I and I have to remember her legacy since she was the mayor in Atlanta. As you know, she did run as mayor back in 2017 after she was elected. But now she announced that she doesn't want to run for her re-election. So, so, so I, I will, I will go to miss Keisha Lance Bottom. Since before, Atlanta has finally got a new mayor. And it's Andre Dickens. And we will remember about the legacy of Keisha Lance Bottom. And we're about to react. We're we're about to let you guys are about to listen to her criticize about what happened to the to to her to her speech after she let out her anger on her on her people in Atlanta since since they started writing in Atlanta and she tells them to go home. She stood up in Atlanta and told those demonstrators to go home. And. And it was very terrible before she she react about what happened to the incident of the murder of George Floyd. And we're about to listen to her speech. And this speech starts three, two, one. But right now, and a protester in front of me telling me that they don't all agree with this. And we actually just spoke with someone who had the same sentiment. And you're... Some of us believe that CNN is fair and just no. Some of us believe that CNN... Um, coming in soon. Of course, that's Mayor Lance Bottoms and well Police Chief Erica Zulu. Smith behind her to the right, um, wearing the mask. They, Let's there may this. be some others joining us. Um, let me just speak to what's happening here today. Um, above everything else, I am a mother. I am a mother to four black children in America one of whom is 18 years old. And when I saw the murder of George Floyd, I hurt like a mother would hurt. And on yesterday when I heard there were rumors about violent protests in Atlanta, I did what a mother would do. I called my son and I said, where are you? I said, I cannot protect you and black boys shouldn't be out today. So you're not going to out-concern me and out-care about where we are in America. I wear this each and every day, and I pray over my children each and every day. So what I see happening on the streets of Atlanta is not Atlanta. This is not a protest. This is not in the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr. This is chaos. A protest has purpose. That is when Dr. Chaos. King was assassinated, we didn't do this to our city. So if you love this city, this city that has had a legacy of black mayors and black police chiefs and people who care about this city, where more than 50% of the business owners in Metro Atlanta are minority business owners. If you care about this city, then go home and pray that somebody like Reverend Beasley will come and talk to you and give you some instructions on what a protest should look like and how you effectuate change in America. This police chief made a video on yesterday, pull it up on YouTube, where she said she was appalled to watch the murder of George Floyd. This woman did that. You're not honoring the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. and the civil rights movement. You're not protesting anything running out with brown liquor in your hands, breaking windows in this city. T.I. and Killer Mike own half the West Side. So when you burn down this city, you're burning down our community. If you want change,
need you in America, go and register to vote. Show up at the polls on June 9th. Do it in November. That is the change we need in this country. You are disgracing our city. You are disgracing the life of George Floyd and every other person who has been killed in this country. We are better than this. We're better than this as a city. We are better than this as a country. Go home. Go home. In the same way I can protect my son on yesterday, I cannot protect you out in those streets. You're throwing knives at our police officers. You are burning cars. You have to face the CNN building. Ted Turner started CNN in Atlanta 40 years ago because he believed in who we are as a city. There was a black reporter who was arrested on camera this morning who works for Omar CNN. Jimenez. They are telling our stories and you are disgracing their building. This is not the legacy of civil rights in America. This is chaos and we're buying into it. This won't change anything. We're no longer talking about the murder of an innocent man. It never changes. We're talking about how you're burning police cars on the streets of Atlanta, Georgia. Go home. What a what a criticize she ever said to the demonstrator. That was a strong word how she said. And as you know about violence that happened in every city since every black person was been killed by a white officer. And I know about violence because my mother told me everything about violence because violence is always not the answer. Violence doesn't change anything. Looting, rioting, violence are ignorant. And as you know, violence is always not the answer. As you know, I, I read every, I know everything about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And as you know, we're in January and we got three weeks away before the MLK Day. And... And as you know, we did made a reaction of Martin Luther King's civil rights speech at the March in Washington last year. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe and drop a like and drop, come, comment below how you love this video. And make sure you also follow me on Twitter and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. See you on the next video soon, everyone.